Hi, I'm Seychelle Gabriel. And I'm Sarah Sanguin Carter. We're from Falling Skies. You're watching Sky. If somebody hadn't seen Falling Skies, I would say that it's very gray <laughs> and dusty. Um, but it uh, takes place in Boston. Um, uh, six months after an alien invasion has hit Earth, um, and it's kind of taking place in the aftermath, uh, and who's left. I like to say it's sort of cowboys and Indians, post-apocalyptic tribes of human beings who, you know, meet up and don't know whether it'll be war for resources or if they'll join forces and help each other survive. Um, and then, of course, there is the alien factor. All the human beings are protecting themselves against aliens. So, post-apocalyptic cowboys and Indians. Why do your stance? Lean forward a bit. Hey, Ben. Man, doing with a gun. Ben's teaching me how to shoot. Figured it was time. He needs to learn how to defend himself. So you just gave him a rifle without asking me. I might have to follow your orders on missions, but I'm not here. There's different kinds of aliens, actually. There's a group called the Skitters, which are like uh, spidery, skeleton-like, um, uh, bigger than us, too. Uh, these big creatures. Tarantulas. Yeah, pretty much like huge tarantulas, but with reptile kind of uh, skin. And I think stuff. they're sweet. I think they look like pugs. They have little pug <laughs> faces and tarantula bodies. I don't think that. They scare me. <laughs> but there's them, and, um, and then they have overlords that are these big, tall, kind of gumby, except way scarier, uh, silver uh, ones that rule over. The mechs. Yeah. And the, we can't talk about the aliens in season two. They're top secret. Even more species. Yeah. Kind of, they surface out of nowhere. Pretty sweet spot for wasting skitters. I'm gonna shoot her up on the roof with a Barrett. Yeah, 50 cal will put a hole through anything. Maybe get a crossfire going with that dry cleaner right there. All you kids get that started, me and the brain trust. We'll get the cooties' attention. We'll come back to the north side. In the first season, there was not so much, I think, a battle of power among us, but more of like, you know, uh, you know, so much, you know, getting together against the aliens. And this time it's, we've kind of gotten our footing with, you know, being a team against them. And so now it's about, you know, where are we within our team? That's true. The second season is more about building this new civilization because you know 80%, 90% of humanity has been wiped out and we have learned how to survive on planet Earth. And adjust, yeah. So we're you know, building roots with the intention of really surviving. Also this season, there is uh, some love in the air, in the very dusty air. Um, it's, which is kind of exciting and kind of uh, a, sh a beacon of light in, in the world that you're watching. And my character, Lourdes, has a new character um, who was introduced, and that's kind of fun. And, and uh, the main characters, Tom and, Tom and Anne, are budding, as, as is Maggie and, and Hal. <laughs> well, it just adds a whole other level of courage to the show, the courage to, to bond, the courage to really care about each other. And uh, you know, the suspense is, yeah. is heightened in that sense because you, the audience can feel that we really care about each other at this point. Right. And we kind of rely on each other, you know, for to stay sane and yeah. stable. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, you first. Wow, you sure know how to impress a girl. What's next? His and her grenade launchers? Who knows? I might do something crazy like open a door for you. Hey, Ben! After shooting the second season, it took about a month to get used to real life and, and the pace. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit like 
um, post-war syndrome because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know that obviously firsthand. I would never claim to. But I have heard that when you're at war and used to the camaraderie, used to the, you know, the heightened awareness, the adrenaline rush, um, people kind of miss that even though it's extremely dangerous and the, the circumstance is dismal there is um, a vitality there that you start mm -hmm. to crave so there's my answer there's a little I, I had post-war syndrome <laughs> I miss it mm -hmm. <laughs>